Hey guys, DC's back with another event. Today we're at a classic car and sports show for the car club up North Devon. And we're going to have a look around and see what we can find. Let's go. As we can see here, we've got an Austin Healy. Beautiful car. Such a beautiful little car. A nice Jagger E type. And very iconic. The Ford GT40. Look how beautiful that is. Let's have a quick look inside, shall we? Wow. Beautiful car, beautiful. And we got a nice little Porsche and some BSA and Honda bikes. Oh, Cobra! That's a beautiful car. Wow! Look at that. What a lovely Camaro. Let's have a look inside. Oh, I still got the original. Everything's all original. That's why the one you want to keep it. Especially the, the V8 engine. Nicely crowned. Beautiful car. Let's carry on. Ooh! A Japanese Honda NSX. Back in the time, that was a very beautiful car. Especially sport for a sports car. I remember this playing this on the Gran Turismo. Nice triumph. It's very close by. Nice car. And we got a Rover. Not much to say about that. To be honest, they are nice cars. Nice little Brit. I think it's British racing green. With le leather trim. And you got the uh, Morris. I must admit, it's a nice little Morris. But there's different types of Morris. You get a Woody, which is next to it, <laughs> conveniently, which is classed as a, a camper. And they did the um, North, the new in car run 2022 for the Children's Hospice in Southwest. We all should know this one. A Ford, Ford Escort Mark III. Oh my god. Audi Quattro. We all know, we should know this one. From the TV series called Ashes to Ashes. Brilliant program that. Nice red too. Oh, a Morgan. That is a lovely little Morgan. Look from the rear as well. Wow, that brings me back to your youth. Seeing these. Wow, these are amazing vehicles. We've got minis over there, as you can see. And we're going to hop over to this side. I have never seen one of these before. What on earth is that? That is wicked. It's got a little camper on the back. Nice wheel side. Let's have a quick look inside, shall we? Oh, okay. 
quite nice. We're going to have a look at the minis in a minute. And we've got another Triumph. Austin Healy Spitfire. And you got your tr Triumph TR7. Wow, Mustang. American Mustang. That's a nice little motor. And you got a little MG. Oh, I think it's the first model of um, of a Toyota MR2. Some of them we can have a look inside and some. We can't. Must be beautiful little cars, especially bring, bring you back back in the day. Corvette Stingray. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Michigan, nice number plate. Must admit that is a nice motor. Another Triumph TR3. And another MG. Now that's a cool little mini. Well, not mini, um, Beetle. That is pretty cool, Beetle. Oh, Mazda RX8. We got a nice Porsche 911 there. Classic shape. You wouldn't think it that Beetle was originally the shape of creating something like that. Until Porsche stole it. I don't know if they stole the design. But they used the same shape but they just flattened the Beetle to make the actual Porsche Carrera 911. Look at the engine on the Beetle. Ah, oh, look, nicely colour coded. That is nice. We'll just head back up here, past the RX8, onto another Austin Healy. It's, that is a cute little car. Wow. You got an MG. Another Morgan. And you got a Spitfire. 1500. And we're going to go around. Around the other side, we're going See some amazing cars. We've got a Peugeot 205 with Citroen Saxo wheels. The thing is, Peugeot and Saxo was pretty much the same. And they've got a nice little hot rod. Check out those curves. Nice engine, too. Nice V8, Albrock. Look at the size of the wood. Sure, they're not low road legal. <laughs> Beautiful car, that. We've got another hot rod there. That's a nice, that's a nice hot rod, that. Yeah. And I, I can't really look at some of these cars. A Citroen DS3. Wow. In mint condition too. We've got a Jaguar there. But well, let's go have a look inside the Citroen. Oh, they've got the camper basket in there. Wow. And you've got uh, a Jaguar there. Nice little motor. And a Mitsubishi eh, GTO 300. 
That is lovely, man. I must admit. I must admit, Mitsubishi did some fantastic cars back then. Absolutely fantastic little cars. Big cars, too. And you got another Porsche. Another Porsche. Oh, wow. A British icon car there. A Tiscan TVR. The only thing with them ones, they're actually very, very tail happy. Massive litre engine. I think it's over five. But it's one of the icons. But the most icon British car would be the Jaguar E-Type over the other side where you first seen. And you've got another TVR and a newer model of a TVR. And you've got another MG. And another Porsche. Ooh. That's an old Ford. I can't really tell you much about this Ford because it's way before my time. It's a H Reg and it's a oh it's a Ford Cortina. Wow. That's a nice little Ford Cortina there. And I had a similar car to that. It's a Ford Escort Mark II. And you got another one. That's a saloon, and that's a, another saloon, but it's more of a bigger boot. Where the boot, you will see, you see the difference between the both. They're both the same model, but that's the difference from that to that. But you'd still get the same boot space. Now you get the Ford Fiesta. I don't think that's near XR2. No, that's not the XR2. That's the Mark III. Popular Plus. Very popular cars back in those days, back in the 1990s. We've got an MG going there. Look, I've got both of them. We've got the Cherry Bomb exhaust on that car. Right, on to the Minis. And you got an on, a mini GT with some nice set of alloys. And it looks like he's modified it. As you can see, the engine it looks like a Honda engine. And you got another mini. The thing is, minis back then were very iconic. They used to be owned by a Hostin, and now got transferred over to BMW, which is now the Mini is a lot bigger than what it used to be. But there's so different types of Mini Coopers. Like this one. This is a Mini pickup with nice paintwork. Yeah, you got another mini. But you, 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 you find that mini around behind these cars. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm not mechanically minded. Yeah. Yeah. I love minis. And there's another Austin mini. And there's an, another mini. That's an Austin, well, not Austin. That's the Mini Coop John Cooper Sports. So I'm shaking like mad here. And look at the difference from the Austin Mini to the Mini Cooper. I move back so you can see the comparement. Not much difference, is there? These are British iconic cars. Because back then, back in the 80s and 90s, these were cars that were very popular and they're still popular now. Worth more than a brand new car.
but it's also Austin Mini was the first car in green and black was used in a TV series called Mr. Bean. Wow. We're going to have a Lincoln here. Wow. Should we have a quick look inside, shall we? See if you see anything. Tell, let me know. Square clusters. I know, I've got trees around here. We are there, the big sheep. So, wow, that's a nice car. We got a little, another camper here. I think it's a comet. Well, go, go around the other way so we're not going next to the people. Give people some space. Check out those rooms though. Yeah, it's a comet. 1969 Comper Comet and it's for sale. But if it, by the time you've seen these, it's probably sold by then. Another Triumph and an MG. Oh my days! We've got a Ford Mustang, gentlemen. Wow. I'm over here, over heels here. Most beautiful Ford Musk Mustang ever. And then, a Ford Capri. 1985 established in. Then, on the classic cars, the sports enthusiast, it's a Capri GT. This is every boy races boy cars they wanted and that is an MG V8 I didn't know they did V8s to be honest nice and clean with MG carpet that's nice and the console Oh, they've got a nice little teddy bear in the back. <laughs> Cute. Hmm. Let's have a look at this. A Cortina Deluxe. I've seen them around somewhere. And this one is a T2 Volkswagen Camper. The reason it looks like this is because they leave it like that because it looks more nostalgic. Where the engine's at the rear roof racks at the top but it was a house on the wheels and they're very nicely done we've got a little stove wash area and prepping area and let's have a look inside very nice very nice indeed and it it's very, very lovely little motor. Um, we've got a Golf and a Pontiac Firebird, 6.6 .6 litre, with original wheels. Wow. That is a nice little motor. Wow. Then you got the Mazda RX-5, not RX-5, what am I saying, MX-5, tuned up, with some wide arches, let's have a look around the outside, with the Ray, Land of the Rising Sun dashboard. with some OPM steering wheel, as you can see there. It's very nice. Surely, they can't beat that, surely. And then, next to the MX-5, we have the RX-7, Mazda RX-7, with the Wankel engine. 
I will show you the inside of that one, but there's somebody, there's a kid inside. That's a nice car. And you've got a nice Land Rover from Torrington Fire Department Service. The thing is, these Land Rovers are actually still used today, but more modernised. But you can't beat the old classics of the Land Rover. I must admit, they are very nice cars. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed it so far. If you want to see some more of these, please subscribe. All to you. No one's pushing you, but if you like it, subscribe. But if you don't, just hit the smash, smash the like button. Because the, the like button is going to help a lot. And I uh, will be doing more games. There's more in the in the upcoming events. But any more of the events like these, I will be going to, and I'll show you around. And if you want to come down, come on down. Doesn't these these bits don't cost you anything to have a look around. If you got a classic car, bring it down here. People will enjoy it. We've got some more cars coming going in a minute. But yeah. It, if you like it and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell and press all. If you, you don't know, not 100% sure, take your time. Have a look what else I'm doing. I play games as well on live at night time. It's the best atmosphere for horror games. So if you want to see that and you don't want to stay up too late, it's no problem. You can watch it in the morning or in the evening. Alright, so I'm going to say goodbye and I hope to see you soon. See ya.